Elder Scrolls Online. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Elder Scrolls Online video. Today I'm going to be telling you guys all about the Assassin class and giving you some advice how I'm, how I like to play it, um, how other people like to play it. Actually, I actually don't know anything about that. But uh, basically, I have some footage of the two types. Um, mostly the sword type, but um, I have a little bit of footage of me using a bow. But um, I really prefer the swords just because you, this class is basically based on physical. There's no real ranged attacks, except for the one that teleports you right next to the guy, and then siphoning. But still, <laughs> I mean, all of them bring you right next to the person, and using a bow, you're you're way at a disadvantage when you're right next to someone. And they really need to fix bows also, because the bows have the same range as spells. So like they just like the arrow just evaporates halfway through the air. It's, it's really annoying. Um, also sneaking is kind of a big problem. One because it's a multiplayer game and it's kind of hard to sneak, and someone's bound to aggro the guy before you can sneak behind him and stab him in the back, which, by the way, doesn't do any extra damage. Yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit upset. I usually like assassin characters, and it's kind of, they're kind of eh in this game. Like, sometimes your teleport strike does a ton of damage like you just did there, and now it just did, like, half a little diddle of its health. Maybe you have to hit him from behind, I don't, I'm not really too sure. But the blocking's good. That was a, that was a good takedown, me and that weird elf lady with a really bad accent took that guy down um that's basically my feeling on it and see i don't i don't get that i don't get that right there i just tried to attack him in the back they just like i was invisible they just like saw me like boom yeah sneaking sneaking's weird in this game maybe it's just because it's beta but i don't know I, I feel like it's it needs some work it needs some work the graphics are nice though that's always good like you can you, you can be right in front of someone and they they don't they don't see you but then, people see in like a circle instead of like a really good area in one part of their vision. If, it, if that makes any sense, they don't see in like a, a high quality cone. You know. All right, here's the arrow, by the way, and using siphoning also. See, it, it doesn't work that well. I can stun them, and then I just shoot them in the face, and they they don't take any damage because I'm not sneaking. There's siphon. See, you kind of need it because I'm taking so much damage from not being able to kill the guy very fast. It's just just weird. Okay, so here we have the skill tree for Assassin, or Nightblade. Um, there are three types of Assassins, I guess you could say. There's Assassination, Shadow, and Siphoning. Now, Assassination kind of goes well with Shadow, because this is basically like, when you're sneaking, or being invisible, you can hurt people more. Like this one, it's super cool, you get to teleport, like, like teleport to them, it's swaggy. Uh, this one is just like a stab, it's like, instead of having a sword, like if you had a bow, you could use Impale to stab them. Uh, this is upgraded, actually, by the way. So I can have range, but the old one doesn't have range. Um, shadow, it's like you go invis- a lot of things help you go invisible. Like this one, makes everything invisible. Bam. Shadow cloak makes you invisible. This, like, hurts them when you're invisible. So, I guess shadow works well with assassination, but it can also be well for itself. Like, veiled strike. Now, siphoning, I haven't really gotten too far into, but it's like draining the enemy more. It's like necromancy, I guess you could say. And, um, I think it goes well with the archer, as being an archer with this cl class, because if you're an archer, then you're gonna need health because you're gonna get beaten a little bit. Because you can't really have an effective way to block. Um, so if you're using swords, I'd probably lean with shadow. Um, lay a little bit less assassination, mostly shadow. And I dump a lot of my points into um, stamina, so you can do power attacks. But if you're being a bow guy, you'll probably use a little bit more siphoning, a little bit more shadow also. I seem to use shadow and assassination more, just because I used those, the two twin axes for a little while. And siphoning's pretty low because I haven't really done much. But the ultimate for siphoning is, like, damn, that is spicy. So, bow, assassins will probably use siphoning. Regular assassins will probably use assassination and shadow. Both of them will always use shadow, because that's kind of the main point of this class. Okay, now that you guys have seen some of the uh, information, or I guess learned some of the information about it, I can kind of talk about the uses of the assassin in, in this multiplayer game. Because it is a multiplayer game, which is, which is new for Elder Scrolls. And I, I don't know how, how great it's going to be, because... How, how are you going to be able to sneak up on someone when your buddy's right there and he doesn't have the same assassin sneaking level as you? So the other guy will see... The other guy will see... The enemy will see your friend, but he won't see you. But I, I, don't, I don't understand how that'll work, because he'll just attack your friend and you'll, you'll never be able to sneak up on him. But, um, see? That's, this is, that's weird. The, the enemies, they, they notice every single time, even when they're right behind you. You can't... It's really hard to stab people in the back unless you have that... That, um that invisibility spell for half a second, which I guess is kind of cool, but you have to use it every single time, and it uses up your magic, your mana, whatever it's called. And also, it's, no, it's just weird. Basically how I feel about it is, 
the the assassins are just, are just gonna become like speedy guys and like rogues instead of actual assassins. Like they'll be dancing around with their swords and stuff instead of actually like using the assassinating like they like used to do in um, Skyrim, which is which is okay. It's just a change. So um, that, that's my that's my take on it. Assassins will be more become like attackers instead of like guys who one shot people, but they have to take some time to prepare. And that's kind of how it is for this game. Like Skyrim was based on pausing the game and figuring out what you needed to do for that like level or kill that boss or assassinate some guy or sneak up on him. But now in this game you can't pause, so you have to have everything ready before the battle starts. Yeah, so that's my take on Assassin. Um, I might do Dragon Knight next, probably Dragon Knight, just because that seems kind of cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials and stuff. See you next time.